Okay, you just take out the secondaries. The secondaries are the ones that don't have wires connected to them. See how the pot or the primaries have the wires connected to them? You're gonna find some wires like uh, those orange ones right there. Sorry about the noise, but you need a chisel and a hammer and you just chisel out some of this. Where we are drilling out the cores and changing everything up. Wait for it. Focus on this. The focus on this is quite bad. Push, if you push down really hard, you get chunks of it. I don't know if, it might be a little hard, but there's some stuff on there, on the bit. Just took off most of it. Comes out with bigger chunks if you go push down really hard. There's a good example right there. And then you just keep going until you get down on both sides and then you just hammer it out. Okay, this is what you do after you uh, drill all the way through. You just take something like a bolt like this. I forgot what they're called. Um, Locking pin, something like that? I don't know. You just take it you hammer it out, it basically jams it up down there, and then it kind of shoves it out. Eventually, you're going to have to take some needle nose pliers in the very beginning and do this, but eventually you get a big enough hole where you can just pull it out. Okay, this is our transformer. This is a big chunk we're about to pull out. Just after drilling it, you get a hole and you get a section of the transformer cleaned out. You see, we get that hole. Well, what that hole does is it basically allows you to pull out pieces of wire that are like this, which is pretty big and significant. Basically, the easiest way is, one, using a bolt, but two, basically, you're going to start by using this. Once you get it big enough so it's wide enough for this to fit in, so then this doesn't get really stuck in it, then you just basically get it towards the edge of it, hammer it down, pull it out. And eventually, you'll get a huge hunk of wires again, okay. like that. After you do the windings, it doesn't really matter what way you go, but in the end, if you have like a voltmeter or something, you gotta try to find out what's positive and what's negative, so when you wire it to your second transformer. But, yeah, so basically, you wanna get around like, somewhere around 20. On our other one, we got like 21, which is ended up with 20, um, to, to 20.6 volts AC, by the way. So, yeah, this is another painstaking process. 10 gauge wire, try to get 20 wraps on it. Try to mark it, otherwise, oh, speaking of marking it, you need to mark a second one for two, but. This camera's junking out right now, I don't get it. All right, this is the point when we're making this where you need the screwdriver. And what it ends up being is you see our wires, they, they kind of look neat. The only reason that you need it to look neat is because eventually you're gonna get to the point where you can't be too neat, but you, you're just gonna want it neat, so it tries to, it makes it a lot easier to fit the wires through, but basically, when you're finding it hard to find a slot to get it into, what happens is these don't lay flat against the inside portion of this metal brick. So what you're gonna do is, Get a Phillips head screwdriver and just try to find a slot like that. See how it's through to this side. And then leave it in there a little bit, maybe jiggle it around, pull it out, <laughs> and then get the wire through. It might not have seemed like it did much that time because we didn't really need it on this side, but believe me, when you get to the end, it's going to be very essential in the building of your coils for your AC welder. Alright, this is my bud Justin and he's a beginner and we just got our homemade welder hooked up and it's basically two microwave transformers powered by two light switches well not powered by like two light switches but we've got one circuit going over there the other circuit going way over there and here's one of his other welds, let's see there's one of his welds and then Basically right now, he's going to do his first attempt at welding that piece right here, this guy, to that piece of steel. So I'm going to put the camera over here because I don't want to blow out the light processing unit. Okay, this is 
what uh, the welder did. Sorry about the blurriness. I welded smiley face because I was bored. I welded that side. I tack welded it. And then I welded that side. This is supposed to be a number so, symbol right here. And then flip it over. You can see it went to the other side, so that's good. So yeah, it's pretty good welder. If you want to make one, make one. It's really cheap. I made a smiley face. Um, just the transformers, obviously. We have a fan right now cooling down because they do get hot. You wire them in. That's in to this one. And then it goes to there. It then wraps around, 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 around. And then all the all that's like an electromagnet or whatever. Goes like this, doesn't matter what way you wrap it. Then you go, then one of them goes out as your as like your ground or whatever, which is the black wire. The other one connects to this one, which is the positive or negative, whatever is opposite of that one, to that one, around, 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 goes out and there. And for us, our yellow is our um, negative. Which is, what, which is what we, we weld with. And then we have just two, not really ordinary light switches, but Somewhere somewhat heavy. ordinary. They're really heavy duty. You have to have this on two separate circuits if you don't want to put a circuit in your house. We have one going to my porch over there and one going to the wall over here in our garage. And then we haven't blown a circuit since. So here's the welding. Don't fail, Adam. Really just yes. uh, we'll put a diagram a up too to show you uh, what, how you wire them together if you guys got confused. So they're both on. Okay, Adam, Ready? go. Okay. We are both beginners, by the way. And here we go. There it is. Ah, oh, it's too blurry. Zoom out then. There's the weld. It's actually a really nice weld. It's a nice weld, so yeah. I'll quick weld the other side, so hold on. Let me get over here. You're hitting the wire. About. Diagram right now. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but I can't really get. I'm not that much of a computer whiz, but first transformer, second transformer. Connect them. Positive and negative connect to each of the transformers. The positive of that one goes out to be your ground. The negative goes out to be your electrode. And then obviously, down here you have your plugs. So that's basically your wiring. Connect the two. And there two go out to your metal piece, and then your plugs. If you want to, you can put them into um one circuit. Like you can combine these two into like the like the uh, I forgot. It's like 180, 220, something like that. And then you can have to wire yourself a circuit in your house, but that's kind of hard. So, but yeah, there it is. costed me um. $35 or something to make this welder because we got free wires and stuff so we're lucky on that part but but yeah so um there's the diagram again if you have any questions just message or comment me